Hi everybody, I'm Michael. Today we're gonna to be talking about the metallic snake plant. This beautiful house plant here and how you can grow her in your home. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. This beautiful rare snake plant goes by the botanical name Sansevieria cyurea, but she also goes by the botanical name Dracaena cyurea. Now, the botanists have been going, toggling back and forth, and lately now they've switched the genus, so, so this plant goes by the botanical name Dracaena cyurea. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Has these wonderful, wonderful gray green striped leaves, grow up to about 24 inches tall. Uh, grows grass-like. She is native to Africa, but is well adapted to grow as a house plant. Ours is bursting at the seams, and so we're going to be doing a repotting video because our, our snake plant videos are quite popular on our channel. So please consider subscribing because we haven't done a propagation video on snake plants. They're very easy to propagate if you know what you're doing. But look at her. Isn't she beautiful? So pretty. Oh! So, so pretty. So she can, she can do well on a tabletop or, or, or on, the, on the ground where we have ours in our bedroom. And another cool thing about this plant is these plants, like spider plants, are known for sequestering VOCs, volatile organic compounds. So these are like natural HEPA filters for your home. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Takes, takes toxins out of the air to make your, your indoor air fresher and you get this beautiful plant as a bonus oh such a cool conversation piece oh, i love this plant well you know i love all my snake plants we have so many and they're so easy to maintain so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and tell you a little bit about plant care the metallic snake plant does best in medium to high light which will be around 500 to 800 foot candles but snake plants are notoriously good house plants for low light. You can drop this puppy down to 100 foot candles easy. She'll do fine. She just won't grow very much. But snake plants are super, super tough house plants in, in, in general. Love these house plants. We have so many. We have Boncel, Fernwood, the uh, variegated Laurentii. Oh, and Laurentii gets tall like this one. The other one's a little bit smaller. But just ah. so on lighting we talked about that she wants she does not want direct sunlight because that can scorch the leaves but this plant is so adaptable you can put her even in a highlight say over a thousand foot candles as long as she's not just getting a strong afternoon sunlight because you don't want to burn these beautiful beautiful leaves and i just oh these leaves are so pretty but on soil you want to give her because she's from africa all this you know the, most of the snake plants want well drained soil you want to make sure that you don't have a real heavy heavy soggy mix that will that'll tend to hold too much water because i'll get into watering in a minute so you want to you want a very well drained loamy mix and we recommend this ratio of 80 percent indoor potting mix with 15 percent perlite mix that together and then adding 5% worm castings, just to add a little bit more of organics. And that will, that will provide you with a very well-drained potting mix for your, for your snake plant. You can do an 80-20. We've done that with some of our, some of our snake plants. 80% indoor potting mix with 20% perlite. But we like adding some of the worm castings because we've been seeing lately that they, the plants really are responding well to it. But oh, I'm telling you, wish you all could be here because it's just so cool to see up close such a conversation piece. So now that we've talked about the soil, let's talk a little bit about watering. If you want to water your plant well, but you want to water it sparingly, we recommend every two weeks to water. Yes, not every seven to nine days like a lot of other house plants. These plants can hold water forever. They have these really cool carrot-like roots and you'll see that if you, if you stop on by when we do the propagation video. And they have these, they, they hold a lot of water. And these leaves are waxy, so these hold water as well. So this plant doesn't need a lot of water. You want to 
water thoroughly. So when you do this every two weeks, every 14 days, water all the way around the plant and make sure water goes all the way through. You see some water draining out. That's gonna be, that's gonna be ideal for this plant. Then you wanna wait two weeks and then do the two knuckle rule where you, you stick your finger down and go down in there. And if you pull back moisture, which we're seeing a lot here because all this stuff is sticking, you don't water, you wait another couple days because the one thing that will kill a snake plant is overwatering. I've done it in the past, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was, was not watering enough, but the soil mix was a, little, was a little too rich and it was holding too much moisture and these things can rot out. And that's a huge problem for snake plants and house plants in general. When you get root rot, your plant is pretty much a goner. It's very hard to come back from that. So every two weeks to water, you want to add fertilizer from April through September, and we recommend just using a simple 20-20-20. And then in the fall, on to switch back to watering a little bit, you can maybe even go longer on the watering for this plant. You can maybe go every 18 days. You just want to check and see if your plant, if, if the soil, if the because in the wintertime, plants don't tend to grow that much. Even even down here in South Florida, we have shorter, shorter uh, days with sunlight or light coming into the home. So the plants are just sort of sitting there. So you don't, you don't want to overdo it with the watering. It's better to be a little bit drier because these plants bounce back much easier uh, if you underwater than overwater. On temperature, home AC temperature, if you run something between 68 and 78 or even 80 degrees, this plant will do fine. And another really cool thing about this plant that makes it low maintenance is that it doesn't really have a lot of pests. You don't have aphids or scale or mealybugs or spider mites issues with this plant, which which is why we love the snake plant because it's it's a pretty good plant for beginners if you can get your hands on one of these things. I got so lucky. Got so lucky. Got to a grower a while back and I was able to, to, to grab one and grow her and she's been doing great in here. I've had to I had to rotate her a, a few times. You want to rotate every 90 days or so so that she doesn't tend to just start growing on, on one side. She doesn't do as much as the as the uh, the lucky shamrock, those plants really move fast for sunlight. These will these will do well for a while, but you want to want to, they tend to be a little slower growing than, than other house plants. But you don't want your plant to get lopsided. So so we've what, rotated her over the years two three times, and you can you can go longer than ninety days because it doesn't grow that much for you. But you want a well balanced look. I don't even know if I'm coming on the cam coming out here on the camera because these leaves are so big. Oh, just love this plant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate over into written care instructions and summarize all that I've just spoke about. So you can take a screenshot and keep that for your for your records on on in if you can get your hands on one of these these wonderful uh, metallic snake plants. And then we'll come back and do a quick summary at the end. All right, let's go on to that step. Well, we hope that was helpful for you. But if you have any thoughts or questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family. We post videos weekly. Thanks.